My whole life, I've always wanted a sibling. I've imagined it a thousand times. They wouldn't just be my sibling, they'd be my best friend. I've imagined how my brother or sister would look. I could never decide who I wanted more. There are so many kids in the world, and I want all of them to be my siblings. But my parents say I can only pick one. Then one night, I had a dream about a sister. She was perfect, but everyone kept trying to talk me out of it. It's like the dream was warning me that I was making a mistake and that there's something wrong with her. I woke up from a real nightmare. Maybe I was just nervous because I'd been waiting for so long. My dad told me that he and my mom had adopted a daughter. I was so happy. All I could think about was meeting my sister. When my dad brought me to the table and I took my blindfold off, I saw the same girl who was in my dream. But there was something off about her. She was looking at me weirdly. I got uncomfortable. She was so suspicious and I wanted to figure out who she was. When I got back to my room, I started investigating, but I didn't have any leads. Why was she so weird? What's wrong with her? Then she appeared in front of me and started acting weird. She turned to face the wall and started asking someone to like and subscribe to Trim Shroom Trick. Talking to the wall is so weird. Then I noticed her phone. This could only mean one thing. Okay. She's an influencer. And that's the best case scenario. I was still trying to figure out what's weird about her. Okay. At night, I noticed that something was sneaking through the dark. My sister looked different. When the moon came out, so did her dark side. I was so scared I couldn't move. Only one creature had this kind of energy. A, a, a vampire! That's who Kylie really is. In the morning, she woke me up like normal and happily told me it was time for college. Maybe it was just a nightmare. But I wrote down the thing about the vampire. What? Kylie was being weird over breakfast, too. She's actually just weird all the time. And I'm the only one who notices it. I've actually never seen her eating vegetables. All she eats is meat. While my parents aren't looking, she gets rid of the peas. Maybe she's not a vampire, but why does she only eat meat? What if Kylie grows fur on the full moon? And she howls all night and attacks the farm animals. She can totally be an evil werewolf, for sure. Where did she put all those keys? What is she hiding? I'm about to find out. I just have to keep watching her. I'll definitely see something weird at school, like her making a deal with bullies. She's definitely in cahoots with them. The weirdest part is that somehow she knows their secret handshake. Not the basic one that everyone knows, but the hardcore secret one for the bosses. It has so many parts that only a real troublemaker would know. All those claps and spins and elbow bumps. I'll prove that you're not who you say you are. I promise. Ha! Gotcha! I have proof of your deal. Kylie is always late for class. Even though we're in the same grade, I hardly ever see her. Isn't that suspicious? 
This one time, she came to class Dolly. with a weird symbol under her shirt. Then it hit me. Kylie's hiding the fact that she's a superhero. Yeah, she's late because she's fighting crime. Maybe she's not so bad after all. And she's suspicious because she's hiding her true identity before she flies away back into the classroom. I know it's not realistic, but I'll still write it down. I have to keep my eyes peeled. I'll watch her until she makes a mistake. And then I'll expose her. Look, her locker is oh glowing. God. And there's smoke. Her secret lab must be in there. Or does she keep an alien inside? I can catch her red-handed. Gotcha, Kylie. Defend yourself all you want. Wait, what? Soda? Hold on, her locker is just a mini fridge? Is that allowed? Wait, is she rich? She's a billionaire! All of a sudden, I bumped into Nick, who was also spying on Kylie. Do you think she's suspicious too? Maybe Nick knows something I don't know. We can swap info. Once Nick finds out I'm trying to learn more about Kylie, he shows me his secret stash. He's studying her too. But not to find out who she is, but to find out how to make her love him. Nick is head over heels for her. Like he's under a spell. Yeah, he's not gonna help me. I'll have to keep on trucking by myself. Remember how I said it's like Kylie has Nick under a spell? What if I'm right? After school, I caught Kylie doing something strange. It's like a story about a witch. The kitchen is full of weird ingredients, and something odd was bubbling in the pot. Kylie is making an evil potion right in our kitchen. No time to waste. I have to show our mom. We adopted a okay. witch. But when mom got to the kitchen, Kylie was just making soup. No potions here. She has me under a spell too. Was I just seeing things? Was I? Am I just paranoid? Was she just making soup? Even though I'm not finding anything out, I won't give up. My investigation isn't over. I have enough information to know I'm close to the truth. I just have to eliminate all possible options until I find the right one. What are you hiding, Kylie? If I were new to this family, what would I be hiding? I'll find out who you are, I promise you. What were you buying from those bad kids? What if, oh yes, what if Kylie's not an orphan, but a scammer? She found out my family is rich and she's trying to rob us. She was probably buying a tool to crack open our family safe and steal our precious diamond. <laughs> I'll have to check the safe. Where is it? Oh, right. We don't have one. What if that briefcase is full of important documents Hello. and Kylie hired a lawyer to remove me from the family so she'd be the only daughter? And I would have nothing. <sighs> She'd steal my parents, and all I would be able to do is become a lawyer. What's worse than that? It's like being a vampire, but without the superpowers. I got so caught up that I forgot about my own birthday. I'm so happy to see my parents. A lawyer did take them away. As for Kylie, she was being suspicious because she was planning a birthday party for me. And 
she gave me a hamster named Eve. I thought my sister was a vampire, but she's actually super sweet. I love my sister so much. Did you like our new story? What was your favorite part? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a new video from Troom Troom Tricks.